Redneck 007. How you doing? Need some go go gadget arms. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> All right. Let me tell y'all something. What's up? So I got this today. I'm really, really, really pissed off. Honestly, old Hoppy, he thinks he's a pissed off redneck right now. Well, he is the pissed off redneck. Go check his channel out. I'm a fuming, like steam. All right. I have yet to be scammed or fall for a scam, but you got me this time, Haji. You got me. You got the redneck 007. To get his hopes up, thinking I'm going to have my truck wrapped with some, uh, you know. Hi, ah, speaking of the fucking scammer, he just fucking messaged me. I'm going to put all this shit on this video. Once you have checked with you, kindly let me. That's all I'm going to read right now. I'm going to put it all on here. I'm going to blow this. Hey, so nobody else has to go through and get their hopes up thinking they're going to get $400 a week for fucking rental space on their damn vehicle. You know what? Fuck you, Haji. Fucking terrorists. Honestly. I really, I really thought. Let me show you. Okay. I done opened it. I ain't going to. So, uh, David Johnson, I don't care if you know my address. David Johnson, South River, New Jersey. All right. Let me show you what they sent me. Yeah, that's a check, right? Yeah, three thousand some dollars. Three thousand eight hundred sixty-two. Should have put some fucking change on it, make it look a little bit more legit. So send a priority mail, send a check. You know, look. You know, you take it to your bank, you fucking deposit it. But guess what? Fuck you. You motherfucking scammers. I'm really pissed off. And that's how fucking pissed off I am. Alright. I'll put all the damn... I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make a whole video of this. Because I don't want anybody else to fucking get their hopes up. That possibly... They're going to make some extra money by just um, driving around town with um, a wrap for Jack Daniels energy drink. Not today, Isis. Not today. That's what I think about it. I'm really fucking pissed off. I could just meet some of these some bitches. I'm serious. If I could just, mm, just fucking, oh! Now that's not even cyberbullying, because they deserve an ass whipping. They they deserve a can of fucking whoop ass. God, I just wanna. Oh, you don't know how mad I am. It's all right. It's all good. It's all good. Let me tell you why it's all good. Because tomorrow, Ryan Up Church will be at Cotton Eye Joe's in Knoxville, and this redneck will be there. That's right. I'm going to Cotton Eye Joe's. I'm going to go see Up Church again. I'm pretty excited about that. But honestly, I mean... I don't want anybody to get scammed like that. No, I didn't take that check to my bank, obviously. I just ripped it up in front of you. Because um, I put some things together, you know? I'm a little smarter than what these mother truckers think I am. 
You know, I might have had a head injury, like a brain injury in Iraq, but guess what? Still got common sense. Ugh. So, and PewDiePie, if that was you who's trying to scam me, we're gonna do more than thumb wrestle. Cause I'll go to one of your meet and greets. I just kidding, PewDiePie. I don't think that was you trying to scam me like you would do that. But rice gum, if that was you, I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it one bit. You think that shit's funny? Well, I didn't. I didn't think it's a bit. One single, minuscule second of funny. And if I wasn't you, I still don't like you. And Logan Paul, Jake Paul. Whichever one of you all want to arm wrestle, I arm wrestle you. I put up $10, you pay me $20. If I win, not saying I'm gonna win, hell. Y'all got some guns. All I got is that cock strength. Cock strong, that's what we call it here, in Tennessee. You know. Pretty sure I probably started working a hell of a lot younger on the farm than you ever thought of. I mean, I don't even know if you grew up on a farm. I did. I really gotta turn my notifications off. But I still don't do it. Cause you never know what's gonna happen. But I'm gonna tell you one thing to you scammers out there, you damn Dominicans. You damn Guanans, you damn Nicaraguans. Hell, all the scammers, all over. You gotta be smarter than that. To scam old redneck 007, specialist James Webb, former. You know why? Because I've seen them all. I've seen all the scams. I get the, the emails. You know, you won this lottery. Send us this and we'll send you this. Nah, don't happen. Or, um, you had a relative who left you all this money. You just gotta send this so we'll release this. Nah, that's a scam. And honestly, if anybody's doing this inside the USA, You got my address, you know where I live. I don't even give a shit about ISIS anymore. Fucking come. Fucking come get you some. Hell, fucking come blow me up. I don't give a fuck. You gonna find me anyway. I ain't gonna fucking be here. But I do want to thank the FBI for uh, really shutting down a few of the profiles that I give them, along with a lot of other information that I will not disclose on here. It's between me and God. But I do want to thank them for that. I really do. <sighs> Holy shit, man. I really just cannot believe I really got my, and it's not like, cause what I did, it, it, it's it's not like I was like, woo, yeah, you know, fuck yeah, they're gonna come wrap my vehicle and uh, you know, pay me for that and endorse their product and all that shit. Nah, tell you what it was though. Always, always have that little bit of pesticism, pessimism, however the fuck you say that word. Um, I mean, I'm very optimistic, don't get me wrong. But always prepare for the worst 
you know, hope for the best, prepare for the worst, prepare for those letdowns, prepare to, am I even fucking recording? Yeah. You know, prepare to have your dreams crushed. Because nine times out of ten, that's what's going to happen. All right, for instance, you buy a lottery ticket. You have a good feeling. Hey, you got your lucky numbers on there. Woo, yeah. The Powerball is one that hadn't been picked all month or all three months, six months, whole year. If you do that kind of research. You feeling really good, you know. You're smart. You don't have cable. So you just look up on the internet or you just take it in and beep, scan it. You expect to see this is a winner and that cha-ching and doo -doo -doo -doo, that, that tone go off. Of course you do because that's what you would like to see happen. But nine times out of ten, ah, more than that really, Say, uh, 100,000 times out of 100,001 times, you're going to get let down. And you deal with it. And you know how you deal with it? Say, fuck it. Just fucking wad that shit up. Fucking whatever. And that's what you got to do. But I just wanted to share y'all, share y'all, I want to share you with the world. Hey, I just, I just don't want to see anybody get their hopes up. I mean, there's always that, you know, that brief instance where uh, things are usually too good to be true. They usually are. So always remember, question everything. Accept nothing at face value. Don't believe nothing you hear and half what you see. And go to redneckNation.com. That's right, redneckNation.com. And get you some cool shit. Because that's going to make me feel better when Uncle Sam pays me. There's some shit I want to take to Vietnam. And expose to the world. Well, Vietnam anyway. And the UK. and We got a army brother over in Germany. Anyway, that's all another video. But this one is to all the scammers out there. You will be found one day. And when you do, you will meet that harsh justice. Because your integrity sucks. Your morals as a human being are questionable. And if I would have cashed that check in my bank, I mean, clearly, as soon as I seen the check, I was like, no watermarks. It's not even on the right paper. They're not even good scammers. But not today, ISIS. And if that was ISIS, even if it wasn't, fuck you, ISIS. You give a fuck. I'm trying to quit cussing, though, but I'm a little pissed off today. Plus, I didn't win shit at the casino last night. <laughs> Got home, fucking, I don't know, zero four or something like that. Power been out, hotter than hell. So, um, try again, scammy. Try again. But y'all know how I feel about long videos. Hell, I'm apparently getting used to them. And, uh, I'm telling you, 
you don't go to Redneck Nation gear and get you some some awesome gear. There we go. Now it really look crooked. But it's all right. Because the flag's crooked. So I'm just accommodating the tilt of the earth since it's not flat. Hell, it may be. I really don't care if it is or isn't. But I'm cutting off the snake's head. I really don't like that. Because, hell, that's the part that's going to bite you. There we go. But to all you scammers out there, and to all you that I've challenged on the YouTube, really, uh, I mean, I've tagged the Paul Brothers. I've tagged the Rice Gum. I've tagged the PewDiePie's. No backlash. No haters. I get nothing. This is like all my relationships. I get nothing. I'm getting a little ticked off about that. Somebody. Yeah, I can't handle that. Somebody. Oh yeah, my tripod's done. But somebody, his legs broke. Y'all know I break like every assisted device. You know what? There, I'm gonna set you up like that. But RedneckNation.com, you can get a lot of fine, awesome apparel. Hey, you can get a lot of cool stuff. I mean, I advocate for it because I believe in the product. No other reason. No, I don't get paid by Redneck Nation. Uh, hell, I don't get paid by nobody. I don't even get paid by First Form. I just really believe in their product. And yes, they did give me a link. Well, they didn't. <laughs> kind of they did, kind of they didn't. Um... I have a link. I was fortunate enough to uh, be a part of this program. And I use their product. So if you want some free shipping off any size of the order that you make today, tomorrow, in the future, link's in the description. Like, I don't need, you know, I'm not a scammer. <laughs> not me. I don't like scammers. They're like the pond scum at the bottom. They are the bottom. They are the sediment. They are the sediment in the bottom at the poo-poo plant. You know these rooms where you go in and you can break stuff and you got wiffle ball bats and, you know, destroy fruit. I mean, I don't know, fruit maybe. Well, they need scammers in there, so you can just go in there, take your fucking aggression out on them. Matter of fact, I think I'm just going to go to the School of Morton in Chucky, Tennessee and get thrown around and Get Ric Flair chopped, choke slammed, but be careful, I got a gag reflex. You know, uh, that's what I would like to do. And do some flips, and I've always wanted to jump off the top rope, and I'm telling you, fearless. I am fearless. I ain't afraid to break a rib, I ain't afraid to break a wrist. Broke this one twice and broke this one once. Shit. Now, if I was afraid to die, I, I wouldn't have volunteered. You know what I'm saying? After 9-11, no one was going somewhere. So, do I have a death wish? Maybe. Possibility. Do I have a 
I ain't gonna do it like that. I'm gonna do it like this. There we go. Do I have... That's pretty cool. But, uh, you know, do I have a right to have that? Absolutely. Do I want to die? Eh, if I do, I do. But it will be, hopefully, my own terms, my own location. And I want to go out honorably in a pile of brass. So Donald Trump, this patriotic, redneck, deplorable infidel is begging for action. Begging. I lay the cigarettes down tomorrow. Matter of fact, I ain't got to run. Shit. You think these UAV operators who play Sega, you think they're out there running all the time? No. I ain't asking to be nothing elite. No, I just want to go. Now, I was reading some paperwork the other day. I could be called up at any time. Individual ready reserve. I'm on it. So Donald Trump, I will give it all back. I'm telling you, if this don't happen before I go to Vietnam, it's Katie Bar the door of the Marines are here. I'm not going. Because I'm going to stay in Vietnam for a long time while I go to Thailand, Malaysia, Germany, UK, possibly, and here you guessed it, the Ukraine. I don't know. Depends on what's going on. Hey, if Vladimir Putin called me tomorrow, then come right. Come have a drink of vodka with me. Yeah, that's my Russian accent. I'm not that good at it. It's not even a good accent. I would say, get to me there. Get to me there. Das Badania, I'll be on it. Get me there. Because I like the man. Because he served his country. I don't care if it's Russia. It's kind of like Kim Jong Un. I do not like him, and let me tell you why. He's a fat piece of shit. That's why. No, I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't categorize people like that. He's a piece of shit, though. I mean, he was put into power. Do your research. Because I ain't, I ain't trying to be on no list or nothing. But seriously, I just wanted to make this video, because I'm getting off on some tangents. I just wanted to make this video there we go, military style. I just wanted to make this video, let y'all know, beware, be careful, uh, be vigilant, be alert, don't get complacent with these damn scammers. So, this has been 23 minutes of some information of awareness. I've experienced it firsthand. Somebody even asked me, well, what if that check's real and you tear it up on video? Oh well, money's nothing. Money is a fig newton of your imagination. You think there's money in the cosmos? There's nothing but knowledge. Knowledge is power. And it also corrupts. Like, the more knowledge you have, say, about a certain subject, you have more power over the person who doesn't have that knowledge over said certain subject. Therefore, get wise, people. Honestly, do you think the creator of this universe, He-Man, He's the master of the universe, sorry. The creator of the universe. Alright. We'll just say he, man. 
you honestly think that He-Man intended for what this whole broad spectrum of the world is? No. No. I don't think so. But is there really anybody or anything? I mean, yeah, the Bible, I'm going to get a lot of backlash on this, and that's good. I want haters. Hell, where's you damn die-hard Bible thumpers? I want somebody to come at me, because I've got it. I've done my research. I've done my homework. I got a B. It's a high B, too. I thought I was going to get it. Oh, anyway. Seriously, though, people, do your research. Before you're, you're in a FEMA camp and you're looking around at some of your neighbors, your you know, fellow constituents, your workmates, and you're like, how did we get here? Why is it in Walmart? Hey. Shouldn't have went there, but I did. I don't give a shit. Or you're going to be in one of these deep underground military bases. Hopefully, hell. Hopefully. You know where I want to be? I want to be a cosmic warrior for truth, justice. Kind of like He-Man was, you know? Or he is. He is. I'm that G.I. Joe mother trucking He-Man. And I may have watched too much TV growing up. I don't know. My brain might be melted. Who knows? But I know one thing's for certain. This world, this existence, it is all a dream. And one of these days we're going to wake up. And yeah, life, hey, it's long. It can be. It can be short for some people. Mine's been a little too long. But you know what? Hey, I don't care what anybody thinks about what I think because at the end of the day, you got to live inside my mind. No, you don't. Did you have to do what I had to do? No, you didn't. Just like vice versa. Because trust me, I got a lot of brothers out here who are still fucking serving. I ain't even gonna get on that because I will. I'll start crying like a little bitch because I miss them mother truckers. I miss my fucking brothers. Especially, hmm, I ain't gonna get into that. <sighs> so, beware of scammers. Fight off the fucking demons. And fuck the elite. You know, because there are. There are one percenters. I don't know if y'all know that. But there are people who own 1%, if not more, of the nation's wealth. We are peons. We are sheep. We're going to a slaughter. Look at your food. Oh, God. YouTube's going to fucking ban my shit. I don't care. Y'all already know they, on both my channels, actually all four of them, cannot go live. Ooh, I didn't check that one. Specialist web may be coming live from a FEMA camp near you. Nah, you know what? Fuck FEMA. And Donald Trump, it's all on the agenda. But still, hey, Donald Trump, I really do want to, you know, I put a weapon system in my hand and fucking send me on my way. I follow orders. I'm fucking diehard patriotic American. I will not question anything I'm asked to do. You don't really have to pay me all that much, just like five meals a day. And I even love him. I mean, I love MREs. What can I say? I don't know about the new ones because I haven't had them. And um, I'm good for morale. Plain and simple. You know, I'm good for morale. And I can keep national security secrets like, you know, Kind of. And, uh, yeah, we ain't gonna get into that or that. Huge Tim Kennedy fan. That's why I really wanted this, uh, 
not to be a scam because the guy messaged me saying he was from the marketing department of Full Throttle Energy. So let's just take our hats off, have a moment of silence for when them scammers reap their karma because it's coming. Karma is coming for people. Am I dishing it out? No, I don't want to. Unless it's on the battlefield or some shit like that. I mean, shit. Just send me to another country and let me do some cool shit. That's all I'm asking. That's not asking too much. My tripod's gonna... I got the weakest damn tripod. Don't ever get the one that's on sale. I'm gonna tell you that right now. But this has been Redneck 007. Safety briefing for this weekend. Beware of fucking scammers. And you know, I've been writing music. Some good, some bad. I've been even making my own beats. You know, Cause when I get to Vietnam, hell they can't understand the damn lyrics half the time anyway, so I'm gonna sing over there. And I'm gonna sing my fucking heart out. Unless I can get on with some security contractor for something like that. But right now, Vietnam's the answer. Not to just stay in Vietnam, but to travel. And Vietnam is pretty close to everything. A hop, skip, and a jump away. And that's what I want to do. Travel the world, see everything. You never know. I might run into ISIS here and there. Huh. Nah. Fuck ISIS, man. I don't I don't really care what their backlash is or I really don't. So I've censored myself a lot. For good reason. I was told to, therefore I do. Follow orders. But one thing is for certain. These scammers are not gonna win. Not on this home front, not on my battlefield, not on my turf, and you're not definitely gonna win when it comes to a battle of wits. So. Everybody, 33 minutes. Probably conclude this. Mark time, 33, 33. So...